All right, welcome back. Here we are in the master control zone. Whew. This is cool. Don't presume, uh, let's see. Any of these people are talk, uh, talkable? No? You look like you're in pain there, buddy. There's a small sticky note attached to the screen. Identity update notice. The update supports prosthetic and mechanical ID codes and iris scans. All researchers are welcome to apply. Iris scan mode is not available for those who wear contact lenses. Ah, fair enough, I suppose. Oh, um, before we do anything else, actually, so we have an achievement and some tutorials. Okay, there we go. Um, hello, Emily, level two insight researcher. Emily, calm down and think about what she would do in such a disaster. Ten cups of coffee, a pill, <laughs> um, or maybe hide in a room full of mystic scrolls of eons. Is she the uh, lead researcher, perhaps? Ten cups of coffee is, um, in any research lab is about right. She took a sip. Oh, that's bitter coffee. <coughs> <laughs> so bitter. It keeps you awake. Too dang bitter. Oh, you want some sugar? Oh, sis, where are you? Oh, I'm so scared. That's who she was, I take it. Don't mind me. Emily? No, no, down. I wanted to collect. Oh, that's too dang bitter. Oh, sis, where are you? Oh, there it is. Ergonomic desks and benches that can be a self-adjusted something something something. Foxy and Zona, Wababoos, Millionaires. What the hell? Alright. Alright, we can sprint. There's a small sticky note attached to the screen. Um, is this the same one? All researchers are requested to contact the security department immediately now. Joanne. Bernard, level four geography. Rocky, level two geography. Leslie! Sir, I need to go. I need to go find Leslie. Stupid boy, is your head not screwed on right? Leaving over my dead body. I'll knock some sense into you yet. Hey, where do you think you go? Yeah. Oh, I think he's leaving even not over your dead body. Oh, actually, no, apparently he's standing right there. Mind me. Oh, hello, Watson. Oh, I can't talk to you. I like that name, Watson. Joanne. Advertising bot. The Orthodox Capo Kali is Kali Capo. The advertising bot lazily declares. And you are confused about the differences between the two. Hmm. All right. Not a lot here. Oh, wait. Keep a lookout for things to collect. Where was that search? Oh, space plant. Some space plant. Or some space plants. We've never seen them before, but they feel familiar. It looks kind of like a fern almost, but with color. Or more color. Presumably people without names are never able to be talked to. A lot of collectibles around. Oh. Dissertation proposal. Oh. Kind of curious what the dissertation's on. I mean, actually might be able to check. Oh, 
expect 10 readable item items in the Herta space station. I see, it wasn't actually a dissertation proposal that I collected. That's actually a little disappointing. What do we have here? New, no, uh, new news? A trailer? Apparently so. one. More memo notes. Alrighty. And I think that's about everything I wanted to collect. Everything for me to collect, rather. One more. Is that March? It might be. I said one more thing to collect. No, apparently there was quite a bit more. Yeah, oh, uh, wait. Yeah, I think that's March 7th. Radar tracking normal. No, that's Asta. Telemetry signal frequency unusually high. Maintain at normal levels. Checked out radar, radar tracking, telemetry signals, okay. Our measurements predict that the Legion is about to unleash over 10 waves of continuous attack. Oh, jeez. Everyone, brace yourselves. Well, that doesn't sound good. Asta, we're back. Hey, Asta. So you're the uh, lead researcher these days now that Herta's not around. Oh, I'm glad you're all back safe. Arlen just told me about the situation at the storage zone and about his injury. Thank you for all your help. Yeah, no trouble. In times of disaster, I realize more and more that the space station's researchers are its most valuable assets. Alas, we were ill-prepared for such emergencies. We should have built up our security and combat departments. Yeah, perhaps, but I mean, to be fair, this was... It's not like this attack happened out of nowhere. It was instigated. But on the other hand... The entire crew of the Astral Express seems to be extraordinarily Thanks, skilled. March. What is the current situation on the space station? The situation is under control for now. The damage to our security system was minor. The intruder only managed to alter Thanks, a small amount of data, so it was easy to fix. Hmm. The real problem lies with the researchers. They trust Madame Herta wholeheartedly and never thought that the space station would be breached by the Legion. Right. Hmm. A broken spirit is far worse than a broken body. Both are bad in their own way, Asta. Let's go speak with the researchers. Right now, the space station can't afford any more unexpected turns, especially from within. Have you tried contacting Herta? I sent multiple letters. All met with silence. When was the last time you saw her? You know her, Himiko? The space station is but a mere warehouse for followers and rare items. Hmm. She doesn't really care about it. I imagine, actually... I was thinking about it. I don't imagine the rest of them are uh, in on the uh, presence of the um, Stellaron that Herta was hiding. I love that bow tie, too. No matter. I'll also send a letter to Herta and tell her that we've brought the rare item she seeks. <laughs> At least that might get her attention. <laughs> yeah, for what I hear, it might. Oh, that would be of great help. New feature available. Warp. Warp to obtain characters and light cones. We can use the train. I want to talk to, to Asta there. And obtain characters and light cones from warps. Oh, oh, this is to... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> right, the warps are the uh, wishing. Yeah. Make one warp. Do I gotta? Fine. One 
to choose what banner I warp on, but... Um... <laughs> what, what are you? The train conductor on this Astro Express? Oh, I got Asta. Fantastic. I wanted her. Oh, she's only four stars. Well, wonderful. That was a regular warp. How many warps do I have? Zero. Brilliant fixation. Whatever that is. Um, I wonder if I can try all these characters or not. Seal. Alrighty then. Well, that's a light cone warp event. And this is the character warp. And then this is the uh, starter warp, right? Which I want to do as well. Of course. Oh, five star characters guaranteed within 50 warps. That's better. Actually, I kind of wonder. Um, let's see. Okay, it's uh, in general the same rules. Every 90 warps. Probably the exact same uh, percentages and soft pity and all that as uh, Genshin Impact, if I had to guess. Fair enough. Um, there's currently eight five star characters you can obtain. Looks like. Hello, Asta. I have you now. Hello. How can I help you? Uh, yes. I uh, just want to get to know you, really. I'd like to learn about the space station. I'd like to learn about you. I'd like to learn about Arlen. And I'd like to learn about her. I, I want to learn about it all. Let's start with the space station, though. This is Herta Space Station. As you might tell from its name, it belongs to the distinguished Madame Herta herself. Right. Herta Space Station was originally built as a warehouse for rare items and relics. But Madame Herta also allowed her followers to oversee tasks and conduct research. Then gradually turned into a scientific research base. Hmm. The storage zone you pass through contains all our inventory and is the main research center. So, can I get, uh... I don't know, can I become a part of this place? Kind of... Hanging by a thread, I have no memories, you know. Just, I need somewhere to call home. The master control zone where we are now is the control center of the whole space station. It is said that the space station also contains Madame Herta's private chamber, where her oh. most precious, rare, and dangerous collections are sealed. And for someone like her, it's not out of the realm of possibility. I wonder if that's where the uh, Stellaron was. Even for me, the lead researcher, she keeps secret. Right. Yeah, it's not surprising. She sounded. Uh, sounds like she knows a lot more than. Uh, based off the way the other two, uh, Kafka and uh, Silver Wolf, are talking about her. It sounds like she's a more aware of big picture things than everyone else. I'd like to learn about, learn about you. I'm lead researcher of Herta Space Station. But honestly, I'm more like Madame Herta's housekeeper of this place. Oh. What do you guys research exactly? Madam Herta is a genius, but managing disparate staff, tactfully representing the space station before the Intelligentsia Guild, these are all things beyond her abilities. But as it turns out, they are my forte. Right. <laughs> Scholars are a lot easier to deal with than those vociferous old geezers back home. <laughs> No matter how much they drone on about astronomy is just about looking at things that doesn't bring any real value, <laughs> they all fall silent in front of Madame Herta. I love the mockery. Are you? By any chance, are you the same voice actress as Mona? I feel like I hear her in your voice. No matter the problem, you just needed to say that it was Maybe Madame not. Herta's wishes and all would be fine. After all, her to herself is a symbol of wisdom. Then, thanks to her, I can count the stars to sleep. Otherwise, I would have had to inherit the family fortune, and ugh, just thinking about it terrifies me. Oh, your family is, uh, well off. You chose to become a researcher and, uh, 
live by your own means. I respect that. I'd like to learn about Arlen. Arlen went to dress his wounds at the rest area. He knows himself well, but if he insists on pushing his limits, I'll give him a good earful. Fair enough. I'm very upset he didn't obey my orders and insisted on searching the storage zone, even though everyone had already evacuated. I know he didn't want to leave any researchers behind. The security department is more than just a job to him. Hmm. Sounds like he was doing his job quite well, actually. You know, putting his own life in jeopardy in order to help everyone else. But Harlan doesn't care about getting hurt. He only cares about protecting others. It's the only way he feels fulfilled. And it's not that I don't understand where he's coming from. I just want him to look out for himself, Aww. too. You care for him. I imagine you care for all your staff, though. I'd like to learn about Herta as well. Herta. She's a member of the Genius Society. Okay. One of the proud favorites of the Eon of Erudition. Ever since the birth of Noose, there have only been 84 people admitted into the Genius Society. Oh, wow. A very, um, select group. The favorites of Noose. Huh. Assume that's just his name. Or it's their name. It's name. I'm kind of tired sure on the nature of the Eons, but, um... That is why Madame Herta is extremely headstrong. <laughs> she only pursues what interests her, and as soon as that interest is lost, she abandons it and moves on. The space station was one such abandoned interest. Oh, so that explains why she is, uh, you haven't heard from her in, what, months? Anyway, I lent out I one of was. her manuscripts as a resource reference not long ago. It should still be in the master control zone. You can take a look if you wish. That's cool, though. You've kept this place running, then, all by yourself. You know, it would have, probably would have collapsed without you. I wonder if she'll ever return. I expect you to hand the keys over, basically. All right. Huh. Chatting with you seems to have lightened my mood. Oh, I'm glad. Seems like talking can really raise one's spirits. Let me, um... Take a look at you here. Oh, she's a trial character right now. Um, Asta, she's a harmony. Let's see, so we have a preservation, destruction, hunt, erudition, and harmony right now. Harmony applies buffs to allies to improve the team's combat capacities. Right. And she's fire, it looks like. Same with you. Erudition deals remarkable amounts of multi-target damage. Main damage dealer against groups of enemies. Right. Okay. Perhaps I should keep using her as a, you know, since she's a trial for now. Can I level you? No, I don't have any materials. She already has a light cone. Oh, and she has a number of traces unlocked. Oh, no, she doesn't. Those are just the traces that are available. Alrighty. I'll leave the reassurance oh. of the researchers in your hands. Mine? If you have any other questions, you're welcome to come to Himiko and me. Okay, I don't know why you're trusting me with that, but sure. Himiko. What's the matter? You seem to have something on your mind. Oh, you know, I'm just trying to get my bearings. I have literally just been birthed into this world, into this universe. I'd like to learn about the Astral Express. Basically speaking, it's a train that travels through space. But more specifically, the Astral Express was a creation of the Eon, Akavili the Trailblazer. Hmm. <laughs> That's why we're all trailblazers, I see. As for what the Trailblaze, the Eons, and Akavili are all about, let's talk about it when things have calmed down a little. Mm, sure. I don't want to overwhelm you now, do I? I, I, can, uh, I can appreciate that. Um, what about light cones? They're basically just weapons? Light cones were created by the Garden of Recollection. These followers of the Eon of Remembrance Fooly. refined memory fragments to create light cones, which preserve memories. Huh. Interesting. 
They preserve memories. But you've already realized it, haven't you? Since light cones can preserve memories, they can also preserve experiences oh. and abilities. That's why light cones are extremely I precious see. rare items under level two restriction by the Interastral Peace Corporation. Galactic Monopoly. Um, so they're not really weapons or any, they're um, you're basically going uh, kind of like the Matrix. You are downloading experiences and memories to make yourself more effective. As far as I know, only the IPC possesses light cone technology authorized by the Garden of Recollection. I couldn't say what deal Herta made with the Garden, but knowing her, it was likely off the books. <laughs> you should cherish every light cone. They are all precious memories of their original owners. Right. Maybe someday we'll uh, produce some light cones of ourselves. Do you know who I am? Who exactly you are escapes me, but you seem familiar to me. Do I now? That's curious. I have a couple of hunches, but I can't prove any at this point, so they'll be my little secrets for now. Hmm. <clears throat> Do let me know. Are you concerned about your past? You seem like someone who prefers to look forward rather than back. Or maybe I'm just describing myself. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Like I said, I'm kind of a blank slate right now. Come find me anytime if you have more questions. I wonder if March 7th is around to talk to. Oh, oh, is that Arlen over there? Adler and Wen Shiling. <laughs> what should we do? Aww. They said there are monsters in the storage zone. And the gift I prepared oh. for Master Capote is still in the analysis room of the Department of Implement Arts. I can get them for you, maybe. You know, there's loads of monsters attacking the space station this time. And some of them aren't even on the station's records. <laughs> He's excited. <laughs> You're so annoying. Stop saying that. <laughs> hey, how old are you? Don't be a baby. Um, just by the looks of you guys. Ten? Maybe? Please stop crying. How about I pretend to be a monster for you, huh? I don't think she would enjoy that at all. Right. <laughs> oh, poor kid. I mean, they are researchers, but I assume they're supposed to be young. This isn't like, uh... Genshin, is it, where the, uh, they have those really short but really old characters? Alright, I don't see, uh, any of them around here. Hello, Arlen. If only I caught the Antimatter Legion sooner. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm fine. This pain is nothing, really. I'm used to it. In fact, That's not I good. should be proud of it. No. It's a reminder of being able to protect everyone. I mean, sure, but don't get used to the pain. <clears throat> but, uh, don't tell lead researcher Asta what I just said. Yeah, I think she'd be quite upset. She cares for you deeply. How's the space station? Whew. There were a few researchers who didn't make it. Oof. The rest are fine, mostly minor injuries. But I'm worried about their mental states. Oh, collateral damage in the name of the greater good, I imagine. At least in the minds of Kafka. And, uh, Silver Fox. And, uh, whoever their employer is. Most of them came to the space station because they admired Madame Herta. But now they can't reach her or even their own families. I just hope they can all survive this crisis. I think they will. What is Asta like? She seems really nice. My first impression was that she was the daughter of a rich family. The owners of a big company. Yeah, it sounded like she said something about that. She was kind to me, though. When she went to the space station, I followed her. Oh. I don't know much about science, but I'm glad to be able to protect people in pursuit of their research. Well, you make quite the pair, don't you? I'll leave the. I'll leave you to get some rest. I hope all this chaos will end soon. Sure. 
Items obtained. Oh. Arrows. Is this a light cone? Looks like a light cone. Hunter's eyes are the clearest when they pull back the bowstring with the arrow notched. Amber for the path of preservation. Only those who aren't affected by time can survive in time. Hmm. And then chorus. Fingers clutched to make a fist. Strength is built via numbers. I give myself for something higher the concept of us. Cool. Level up and ascension can both massively boost all stats for the light cone, making the wearer even more powerful. Right. Um. Let's, uh. Oh, you got a phone? I like your phone. What about, um. You have a phone? This is pretty simple. Hmm. Neat. I like how they all have their own unique phones. Oh. Oh no. Never mind. These are credits. I thought that was giving me 300 um <laughs> passes. I was like, oh, geez. Generous. Mind if I do though. Um, oh, 100,000. This also gives me uh, some star rail passes. Thank you. 20 of them. An avatar. I like the little hat. Hi, everyone. I'm Stell, the newbie of the Express Crew Newbie Welcome Party. <laughs> and then Serval. A Bellabog mechanic who used to be a researcher for the technology division of the Architects. As Gepard, Landau's elder sister, her personality stands in stark contrast to her brothers. She loves an ancient form of music known as rock and roll. Rock and roll is pretty good. That was popular before the uh, Eternal Freeze. Hmm, the Eternal Freeze. Is this uh, universe much older than ours? Entropy taking its toll. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's just straight up giving us a character. Nice. Um, a lot of stars probably dead by this point. I don't know. I'm just guessing. First Voyage's Blessing. A blessing offered to those starting their journey. Oh, is this like the cake? Birthday cake. May you embrace the skies and give the greetings of your first voyage to the endless starry seas. May you cross the snowstorm and ignite an eternal flame at the end of the frigid winter. Well, the footsteps you leave behind will one day become a road upon which stars would, sh uh, would shine. And some more credits. Ooh, and some adventure logs. Travel experience is very nice. All right, these are from Pom Pom. I wonder if Pom Pom is kind of our our new Paimon, maybe. She's erudition. Hello, Serval. Some uh, I like a lot of these designs. They're good designs. Mari. That's right. That's right. The resentful spirit's senseless obsession turns into a, a tangible hand, and the shadow of the old disaster will conceal the heavens. What are you talking about? That's exactly what was written on the mystic scroll of eons. It refers to the followers of Nanook, the destruction, using antimatter to create a galactic weapon of war. Well... They are the antimatter legion, I suppose. Enough to witness <laughs> are you wait? You enjoy the, the, the these? This is happening. Oh, 
Have you also come to witness the power and miracle of the eons? Then go over there. There's a good spot right there. Are you telling me to get away from you, or are you being legitimate? Is this a better spot? Beware of any interferences from your mortal body when observing. <laughs> you must seize every detail. Um, when a neon appears, even the tiniest trace must not be missed. <laughs> I'm gonna back away slowly. Don't mind me. Gun, geopolitics department founder, and Sheila, geopolitics guide. You see that, Sheila? History always repeats itself. Well, it doesn't repeat, but it does rhyme. History? Gun, this is the first time I have witnessed the space station in such disarray. Oh, Sheila. When we face another dire crisis like this, if you're able to rescue your home planet, will you come back and save us? Huh. Home planet? My home planet? I do not understand what you are saying. Yeah, I'm not quite sure either. Never mind. If Sheila could hear this, she'd understand. What's your name? Yeah, your name was Sheila. That was a weird conversation there. Interesting. Um. Hello, Hinkle. Push the stick down, Alfred. Oh, sorry, sorry, I got the wrong person. Yeah, I'm not Alfred. Let me help. Thanks, kid. We're doing some pre-checks for the satellite remote sensing. I'll hold down the button to monitor the signal, and you push the control stick according to my instructions. Sure. But first, let's talk about the controls. Up is the spectrometer. Okay. Down is the filter. Left is the reference level, and right is the attenuator. All right. Uh, up spectrometer, down filter, left reference level, right attenuator. Sure. Our pre-checks have three steps. Turning on the spectrometer, then the attenuator, and finally outputting the signal to the filter. Unfortunately, I've already forgot which was which. It's quite a bit to remember. You got everything? No, I need to hear it again. Don't worry, I'll go over it again. The controls are up for the spectrometer, down for the filter, left for the reference level, and right for the attenuator. The pre-checks have three steps, turning on the spectrometer, then the attenuator, and finally outputting the signal to the filter. Are you ready? Three, All right. two, one. Um. So first be up for the spectrometer. And then um, right for the attenuator. Wonderful, thank you. There we go. <laughs> that was very helpful of you, kid. Alfred was the researcher in charge of this. He was in the storage zone earlier. He didn't make it back. Aw, sorry. Abraham was close to him. Uh, I don't know how to tell him about it. The top priority is to preserve the space station and concentrate on the work at hand. Yeah, after a catastrophe like this, concentrating on the work at hand is uh, a good way to, um, well, take your mind off things. Head of Ecology. Luke, uh, Lukacs? We researchers have all taken refuge here. But has anyone given any thought to the non-human life on this space station? What, the plants? What else is there? They may be part of the rare item collection, but are they not also living things? Don't their rights deserve to be protected? Um, rare item collection. At the space station, we've always collected rare items, countless articles from across the galaxy. Sure. But not everyone knows that among these articles are also living things. Like animals, or...? And I, Lukash, outstanding oh, Lukash. researcher of the Herta Department of Galactic Geopolitics, must emphasize in this time of crisis that their lives and rights should also be respected. I mean... 
sure we should make sure they don't die. Why not? If you are interested in joining the cause, please stand by my side and repeat after me. Protect rare item rights. Save non-human life. I'm not gonna go protesting with you, but I mean, I'll make sure to save any lives I see. All together, protect rare item rights. Uh, save non-human life. Perfect, my friend. Now, let us work together and invite more supporters to join us. Protect rare item rights. Save non-human life. All right, have fun. Um. Oh, don't mind if I do. Anyone else? Someone up there. It's just the one left. Yeah, I think so. Hello, Abraham. Oh, that's who she was mentioning over there. I need to leave. I need to run from this forsaken. No, it's impossible. I can run from yesterday. I can run from today, but tomorrow will always be one step ahead of me. Do you need a hug? I understand you're going through some uh, emotional turmoil right now. Look! The obstacle detection terminal has recorded 142,856 attacks. The next count will be 142,857. Is that just like micrometeorites and stuff? I know in my heart that when I see that hopelessly beautiful cyclic number, it will mean the poetic end of my life cycle. Oh, no. Things will get better. Life is but a path to death, but not today. How insightful. Yes, of course. The closer you approach death, the more you appreciate life. Well, sometimes. I will pull myself together. Thank you. That was kind of you. You're welcome. Sorry about your losses. New feature available, travel log. Participate in various events to obtain corresponding rewards. Let's see. A world beyond. Daily check-in. Ooh, a special pass. Don't mind if I do. These are for the uh, specific banners rather than the standard banner, I presume. Yeah, the limited warp items. Presumably... This event won't be resetting or anything like that. Got to re uh, get to Trailblaze level five. Okay, fair enough. Luckily, this one is permanent. Oh wait, is this like um? These are just rewards for your event. The basically equivalent to rewards for adventure level, is it? Aren't they? Star Kissed Synchrony. What is this? Oh, that's Herta? Huh. You know, I was expecting someone a lot older looking, quite frankly, honestly. Wait, are her legs? Is she a robot? Like an android? Huh. No kidding. But so is this to uh, try her out? We can see what she's like. And you can look at them. Kind of look like Byleth almost. Um, it's just the hair color, really. Neat. Uh, 
Oh, these are the, um... This is for the banner, isn't it? Star Kiss Synchrony. Or no, this will be a reward we get at some point. We'll get Herta and Natasha there. Okay, here's the, um, the character trial that I was wondering about. Oh, we can, uh, Ching Chua, I presume is how you say that. After reaching Trail Blaze level 21, clear Forgotten Hall member stage 3 to obtain the character Ching Chua. Fair enough. Shall we see if... Oh, she's a scythe. I already want her. I love scythes. Shall we start these trials? Or should we... Uh, let's exit out of here really quick. Can you look around the master control zone and report to Asta? I see. Oh, we can, uh... Oh, wait, no, never mind. Thought this was a different area for a second. Well... No, let's do that now. Character trials. There's only ten days left for that. Um... Natasha... Natasha's skill provides continuous healing to a single ally. Natasha's ultimate uh, provides healing to all allies. Oh, cool. A healer. Oh, we're on a normal planet right now. Kind of cool. Move carefully. All right. Oh, she has hers now. Um, I guess let's... Not that effective. Okay, this one's effective. Alright. Um, <laughs> she has a Gatling gun. Oh my god, yes. I just want to attack. Oh, no, it's a grenade launcher. Alright. Let's, um... Just in time. Gift of rebirth. Just a little something. <laughs> what are you shooting? <laughs> you just destroyed the teddy bear. No. <gasps> Clemency, never sad. All right. The time is now. I do want to see what her um single target is like as well. <laughs> That'll take more than medicine. Let's um. I guess, yeah, let's do him. <laughs> oh, you can choose. Don't worry about me. Ah, nothing too special there. <laughs> Step aside. Combustion. I have no interest in stoking conflict. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's go. What? You can't use your? Oh, you're not quite there yet. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Time for a shot. You're in bad shape. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. Ooh, nice crit. Oh. Ow. Rules are made to be broken. I still find it funny she uses so bad. A single target, yeah. Okay. Nothing too special there. Presumably a good healer. But basically purely a healer. Um, She's only four stars, though. How about Hook? Hook, Hook, where's the Hook? Um, Sir Arch Enemy Peter Pan. If we ever face any alligators, we'll have to watch out. Or crocodiles. I 
actually forget which one it was in Hook. Uh, I think it was an alligator. Hook's ultimate can enhance her skill one time each use. Huh, okay. Her enhanced skill can attack multiple enemies. So she just buffs her, um, her skill. <laughs> she has a giant claw. All right, let's, um... I don't think he was. You have the worst luck running into me. But that was adorable. Stay right there while I give you a present. You can't run. Oh, we have it uh, enhanced. Try that again. Boom! Here comes the fire. Because it does hurt them as well. But then, um... <laughs> she enjoys her, her job. Um... So it attacks someone, but then it also, um... Enhances your next skill. Very nice. This is a single target one. Gotta try hard sometimes. Glacial cascade. Uh yeah, get them all. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> all frozen. Oh, not anymore. I told you I could fight. Still not quite dead. Time to make some mischief. There we go. Hey. Try that again. Yeah, try that again. Basically riding her hand like a motorcycle. <laughs> Done now, buddy. I could fight. Watch this. Or not. Yeah, you're almost done. It looks like when they recover, that does use their turn. And there's one benefit to uh, breaking them. Alrighty. How about you, Pella? She summons guns, it looks like. Her skill can remove one buff from an enemy. Her ultimate can reduce the enemy's defense. Oh, nice. I like debuffing my enemies. <laughs> so, <laughs> a, a, uh, traffic light looking robot. Wait, did that enemy just heal them? A lot of these enemies actually really do make me think of, like, Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> Fought some weird things in that game. All right, let's um start with a single target. I'll contain them. Okay, simple firing gun. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Let's uh. Enemy data secured. Try zone suppression. Net markers activated. Time for good old counterattack. It's too late to repent. Oh, frozen too. Nice. Um. Nah, let's just go regular single target. Nice crit. And now we'll. There we go. Just a scratch. Keep her alone. 
Let me see what uh, her skill was like now, too. Impair. Removes one buff from an enemy. So, like this one? Oh. Clemency? Never heard of it. Nice. And it is effective. So her, her ultimate drops their defense. Her skill gets rid of a buff, I see. Take this! Inspiring the robot, huh? Ow. Rules are made to be broken. Let's um get him. Enemy targets detected. Mm, that one was buffed, wasn't it? This one will break him though. Inputting commands. Ooh, it's too late to repent. The time is now. Nice. Gets good crits. Yeah, that thing does heal them. Commencing support. So this would, uh, if it did have a buff, reduce it, remove it. Doesn't look like it had one, though. Let's take you out now. Data secured. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Beautiful. And we'll finish it off with Ethereal Dream. Revealed in an instant, this sanctuary is but a vision. Or not. Enemy targets detected. Enough. Almost. There we go. Oh, looks like that uh, decreased his speed at there in the end. Interesting. All right, now the five star seal. Extraordinary single target damage. When seal defeats an enemy, she will gain one extra turn. Oh, well, nice. So finish enemies off with seal. And she's got this scythe. Oh yeah. Let's um she's electro basically. Okay, let's go single target first. My turn. Stay right there while I give you a present. There you go. Try that again. Oh, she has her uh ultimate now. I'll free you from let's see what your that chains. does. Um, let's break you. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. <laughs> Illusions of the past. Oh. Let me end your misery. I love her already. It's after Seal defeats an enemy, she gains one extra turn. Let's go, uh, let's see what target it this time. Oh. I've always loved scythe wielders, even though in real life it's an impractical weapon. God, I love her already. Oh, battle two of two. Um, right, let's go see what it's just regular attack. Let's see. Oh, she has her thing again. Um, we'll get you. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Let me end mm. your misery. Beautiful. All right. Um, single target. Don't Poor guy never stood a chance. All right, and one more. What a headache. 
Oh, yeah. I don't mind wishing on her. Or warping her, I suppose. She seems... She's a lot of fun. She had me a moment I saw she had a scythe, really. But now that I've seen how she plays as well, I like her a lot. Shall we... Start that immediately. Yeah, those are different warps. Um, of course, this, uh, wait. Okay, that, this one uses the regular warps. I see. Here's my pass. And there's the conductor. All aboard. It's adorable. Uh, pioneering a three star. I mean, I would have been shocked if I had gotten a uh, five star with my first wish. Is that pom pom, I wonder? Darting arrow. All right. And let's also get these. Bones of the Direct Sea. Okay, they do have the color change. We also have Undying Embers as this game's Stardust. There we go. Um, make the world clamor. I'm... Is that a character? Oh no, this is... Yeah, this is a character. No, it's not. It's a light cone. Bored of that thing. Uh. Ah, Paula. Nice to see you. The debuffer. We should probably uh, wait until we build up eight more. It's actually, I'm not sure how expensive are these? 160 cell with jade? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's enough of that. Oh, wait. There you are. And we have a bunch of those. Alright, Asta. Uh-oh. Um... Take the express and leave. Yeah, I'll no. Stay, but you shouldn't. Let's go. That looked dangerous. My self-defense shield won't hold much longer. You all need to hurry. Oh, what about you? I'll be here. You've got to fit them off. I'll do what I can, but... That thing looked dangerous. We lost communications. 
Are you thinking of going back? Well, let me remind you. That's the Doomsday Beast. That is the Doomsday Beast. The Legion's planet destroyer. Wait. No, they... Was it the Doomsday Beast they mentioned uh, that Kafka and Silver Wolf mentioned? It might have been something else. They mentioned something dangerous that they didn't want to come across, but... Uh... The space station is Herda's creation. As long as the Lord Ravager doesn't intervene, there should be no problems. I think that's what they were mentioning. Kafka and Silver Wolf mentioned a Lord Ravager. I mean, we can. It's a matter, a matter of whether we should. The Doomsday Beast can rip off the defense shield like tearing paper. And Herta's not here. Right. The station's defenses are too weak to stand against the Antimatter Legion. Right. And we're too weak to stand against a Doomsday Beast? Either way, the Legion has the blessing of the Eon Nanook. They came prepared. And everyone here is not. Right. They came looking for, uh, well, what I have in me, presumably. That's why we have to leave and take her with us. Yeah. Hmm? Wait, do you know? Are you aware? She's that important? She's the one who can help us turn the tides. Of course, I may be wrong. Well, I don't think you're wrong. I'm just curious uh, how much uh, of this is just pure instinct and how much of it is uh, suspicions as to what I am. <sighs> as you say so. All right. What should we do next? This is the supply zone where the maintenance crew works. There's a path here that leads to the railway platform. Let's head over there and meet up with Welt. All right. Mr. Yang? Mr. Yang's here too? Didn't he stay on the express? The Astral Express I mean, tracks our coordinates in real time. And with such a huge change in the space station's movements, there's no way Mr. Yang wouldn't have noticed. Right. I sort of assumed the Astral Express was docked with the station since you all were here, but... Mm-hmm. I can almost guarantee that's not how it works. Mr. Yang is already on his way. Right now, we might be able to handle things if it's just the Doomsday Beast, but... You sure? If Destruction's Emanator were to appear... So you're saying uh, the Lord Ravager is worse than the Doomsday Beast? The Destruction's Emanator? Let's hurry up and get out of here. I'll explain later. I would like you to explain now, but I understand. Trailblaze level four, nice. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> All right. Um, what do we have here? An enemy. Level five antimatter. Freeze. No, no. Freeze. Freeze. There we go. Um, Clemency, like it, never heard of it. I imagine it's always beneficial to do the skill instead of the regular attack. Himiko can launch follow-up attacks during battle. Okay. Every time an ally inflicts weakness break, Himiko accumulates charge. Oh, cool. She a five star. Let's see, you are weak to him. go. When charge reaches three points, Himiko will automatically launch a follow-up attack. You won't get away. Oh, she has a drone. I told you I Very nice. Fight. Um, alright, let's Gotta try hard sometimes. Glacial Cascade here. Check out this awesome move! <laughs> <laughs> Our personality and enthusiasm are infectious, I swear. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. Uh, let's get you. This sanctuary is but a vision. 
You have the worst luck running into me. And <sighs> let's make it quick. Close. Oh, oh, oh. Rules are made to be broken. Uh, blast them. Decision strike. <laughs> Battle over. Beautiful. You couldn't have done it without me. Eh, you were helpful, surely. Any other? Wait, what? <laughs> that weapon. It's like a giant. <laughs> like a giant Swiss Army knife. But with a. I'm not quite sure what that's supposed to be, but that's awesome. Curses. My one weakness. Loose obstacles. <laughs> or mildly, uh, uh, moderately tall obstacles. Uh, the exit's over there. How do we get to it? Um, walk? I assumed. Is there a path something in the way? No insufficient points. So we can't always do those, I see. Not sure what built up points for that. You're weak to ice. That explains why you wouldn't always Never do the skill. It. Let's go, um... Aren't you supposed to autom- Oh no, she has to build them up to three. What's this? Let's see. Go. You won't get away. And it's an AoE, which is nice too. You. Oh, we can finally see what her um her skill is. So, so. Just wax them, really. You're annoying. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking cotton. The time is now. You have the worst luck running into me. <laughs> there we are. You couldn't have done it without me. So, this opens the door here, presumably. Hold that thought. I see a chest. Looks good. Oh. Huh. A pulsing bridge. Cool. Hard light. Then this one will switch to the side. Yes, it will. Wonderful. Um. Ha. Gotcha. You won't get away. Nice. Start. Clemency? Never heard of it. So those seem to carry over from battle to battle. I think. Watch this. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Hertarium. <laughs> Herta, do you name that after yourself? Silly. Going that way. I want to find out for sure. 
Uh, no, you can't just walk off ledges, it looks like. It's good to know. We need a strategy. Formidable foe, Void Ranger. Um. I mean, I could level myself up a bit more. That is an option. And, because I like her so much, well, uh, oh, I should actually give you a light cone. See, so you are a, um, preservation. Can I go by type? No. Or no, does, is it showing only preservation types? No, it's not. Oh yeah, no, they do put um, preservations in front. That is convenient. When the wearer breaks an enemy's weakness, the wearer restores HP by 12% of their max HP. Okay. And then Amber increases the wearer's defense by 16% if the wearer's current HP is lower than 50%. Increases their defense by another 60%. Uh, yeah. Let's, um, let's go with that one. How many hunts do we have? All right. So at the start of the battle, crit rate increases by 12% for three turns. Attack increased by 24% for three turns when defeats an enemy. And these are all the same one. Oh. Can I refine them? Superimpose them. Oh wait, can I do... Oh, I can do them all at the same time, nice. I like that. So now this one is uh, 36%. Might as well equip all of them. So for Harmony, let's see, Superimposition 1. Oh no, that's its rank. Um, family, upon battle entry, all allies receive 12 increased speed for one turn. Okay. Or Fleet Triumph, which I can have multiple of. Let's, um... After the wearer uses attacks or gets hit, additional, additionally, regenerates four energy. Okay, so extra energy. Can only be triggered one time per turn. Puts it up to six energy. Sure. I like energy. Granted, getting that initial boost of speed is probably kind of nice. Not sure how much, uh, if that will result in a few extra turns or just a really guaranteed initiative for the most part. But, um, let's go with meshing cogs. And serval. Who I don't think I've used yet. Or tried out. Erudition. I mean, obviously, we're going to give her the four star. The wearer regenerates 20 energy immediately upon entering battle. And increases ultimate damage by 32%. Very nice. Don't make your jungle as cold as this concrete jungle. Don't make your heart as cold as this concrete jungle. Okay. Well. Oh. Um. March. Let's level you up, too, a little bit. Shall we try it? It's pretty strong. Yeah, I got it. Okay, I got it. Good. Oh, it's one of these things that uh, Kafka destroyed. I think Kafka was the one who did that. 
Um. Gotta try hard sometimes. Whoops, that is not what I meant to do, Check but awesome I'm going to do the other one. I suppose that's fine, though. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. Let's break you. This sanctuary is but a vision. If we can. You have the worst luck running into me. Um. Let's put defense on, I guess. Her. With me out here, how can we lose? And then. Take this. Boom. You won't get away. Good victory rush. Barely able to hurt it. Try that again. Shoot. All right. Um. Let's hit them all. Not very effective. Oh. 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 Heavenly flare. Humanity never conceals its desire. <laughs> <to enjoy laughs> Orbital strike. Section. As she sipped her tea, I love it. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Um, guess I've gotta break you. Shoot. Break them both. You won't get away. Still not I have something that effective, for but... you. Rules are made to be broken. Okay, that's a little stronger. Time for a detailed overhaul. It's about to recover. Yep. <laughs> But, uh, Never heard of it. Another one on it. Another one on her. After this. Let's go. So it gets yeah, it gets two actions. Combat is a series of precise machinations. Restore that energy. Ouch. And oof. Step aside. I have no interest in still. <laughs> we got this still. Alright, defend uh there while I give you a present. Or still there. Time for it. I try hard over. sometimes. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> yeah, it's not all that effective. Um Go single target since the skill isn't all that effective. Try that again. So the entanglement basically puts her out of commission. Oof, that hurt her even with the shield. Okay, entanglement's gone. Good. Clemency? Never heard of it. <laughs> Almost there. Oh, oh, oh. The truth of life and Break death. Break him. Revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. There we go. I you think we got this. Away. Rules are made to be broken. That's why I'm going to take a baseball bat to your four kneecaps. Uh, single target. Yes, got it. Just barely. Formidable foe defeated. Treasure unlocked. Oh! We get special bonuses for defeating formidable foes. Void. Or... So even if we were overleveled for that, we would have gotten that treasure. Okay. Thank you for the health, Space Anchor. You have to say, Don Hung. Hmm. Your weak 
to everything, are you? This will strengthen our position. So by him using that, he gained an attack Step boost, aside. it seems. I have no interest in stoking conflict. I told you I could fight. Um, you too. Take this. You won't get away. He's targeted. Ooh. Combat is a series of precise Yeah, they're um, they're dangerous when uh. Clemency. You're not protecting Never them. Never heard of it. All right, March is coming up though. Can you here protect him, please? Right there while I give you a present. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. I still love this one. And I'm no exception. So she's, um, if I remember right, super effective against AOEs, basically. Is her role. Um. Breaking. There we go. Past victories don't guarantee future ones. Now that energy for the skill, what restores that? Actually, I probably have something in here about that. While exploring, you may encounter for, uh, powerful enemies. Defeat them to win bountiful rewards. There it is, techniques and technique points. Um, a special type of ability used in exploration, which costs technique points. Different characters have different technique buffs. Try out a few and see what happens. Um, destroy destructible objects and use special consumables to recover technique points. Okay. So it's destroying those objects that does the trick. Increasing your equilibrium level will increase the number of technique points available to you up to a maximum of five. That answers my question. Hey, buddy. Don't mind me. I'm not here. No one's here. Gotcha. I, oh, locked onto her. Step aside. I have no interest. Okay, she can protect herself though. Good. Good break. I told you I could fight. No, protect With yourself. With me out here, how can we lose? All right, and now let's go regular attack. Let that energy break him. You won't get away. I have something for you. Good. You're annoying. You can't run. Rules are made to be broken. So long. You your welcome. Oh wow, that one survived. Brandon, now we're wasting this, instant. but this sanctuary is but a vision. I think the ultimates survive through Reach the next the combat the at least. In your own way. <laughs> Just whack these enemies, unsuspecting. I like how they show up on the map. Kind of reminds me a bit of Chrono Trigger. Um, all right. Then a week to you, so let's just go single target. Build up your energy. Go build up the energy. My turn. Check out this awesome move. All right, and. Break them. This is our chance. You won't yeah. get away. We'll probably finish three of them off, right? Nope, just those I have two. Something for you. That one, come on. 
because that one is extra effective against the one that you target directly. Looks like. Step aside. I have the times now. Despite the screen being located in the monitoring room, it's not displaying any form of surveillance footage. Instead, a page, text, a page of text fills the screen. Documents. In summary, this monitoring room has been hacked by invaders from an outer, oh, from an outer galaxy. There will be a significant risk if you insist on using the extra permissions granted by the monitoring room to access the internet. Therefore, I request to suspend the use of this monitoring room. Also, I'd like to go on holiday with the paid annual leave that I have left over this year. <laughs> uh, I don't know who wrote that, but I like them. A lot of things we're collecting to read. Looks good. I'm not gonna lie, it is very frustrating being una unable to vault over uh, ledges like that. Or jump. Where we're going. Oof, planet. The one we're in orbit over. Ha. There we go, there's some. Oh, those specific ones restore technique points. Ah, uh, yeah, it's the platform. Yeah, the platform. The express isn't here. It has oh, to yeah, be it's nearby. like a rail station. Let me go take a peek with my sharp eyes. Yeah. I don't hear it coming. But we'll see. Until the light takes us. I'm sure the train will be here. Wait. Wait, March! Yeah, don't run into the train tracks, please, March. Also, Space Dragon. It's really here. It's Ridley. <laughs> uh, careful, everyone. Um, we're, uh, we're not expected to fight it, are we? We are. All right. Each hand gets in a move, a move in, of course, and actually all the parts move of the body. Of its body. What's it weak against? Oh, it's got all of them. I see. Let's go with our orbital laser. Still don't understand. Humanity never considers its desire to control the heavens. For something like this, an orbital laser is what we need. Move carefully. I'm very grateful to have her as a trial character right now. Okay, they're all uh, broken. Let's build up our energy. Actually, I should attack one of those. No one's currently targeted, but um, actually, it's a lot of AOE, so that would. Probably been still been beneficial. Uh oh. Buffed its hand against us. Not as bad as I was worried. It's a terrifying monstrosity, but workable. Ow. The truth of life and death. Revealed in an instant, this sanctuary is but a vision. That's not an AoE, is it? No. At least we got rid of its hand. Running into me. 
Um, let's just go for the normal attack. Break it. And single target. Combat is a series of precise machinations. Come one, come all. Actually, not all that effective against not a lot of damage. It looked like. Horrible. Or no. Rules are made to be broken. Nice. Perhaps you still don't understand. I think this should do it. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Antimatter engine has been broken. Oh, oh. Oh, it's this kind of boss. I have no um, interest in stoking conflict. Break it. Yes, one more. Oh, no, it has two health bars. Shoot. Um. Impending doom. Ow! Ow! Yeah, that's, um... Oh. Gotta try hard sometimes. Get that on it. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> then we're gonna protect uh, Himiko. You won't get away. Wait. Still, why do you have? Oh. All right. Fair enough. are doing good. Ow. Ow. And... Okay, recover from ring frozen. Good. Let's see. Ah, well, actually, no. We probably can Let's make it break it now. You won't get away. And this will break the other two. Maybe. Time for a detailed no, not overhaul. quite. There we go. Mm. You've got a lot of nerve. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire we to have control it. the heavens. I'm no exception. Okay, left hand open. The truth of life and and hopefully an instant. this will finish it. This sanctuary is but a vision. Nice, there we go. And here it comes still to finish it off. Rules are made to be broken. I love how much of them. She just looks like a uh, like a high school delinquent or something. <laughs> Baseball bat, the outfit, everything. Oh, home run. That was fun. Coffee lover. Oh. I like that boss design. No, March! Thank you, Stell. Wait. You able to take that blast? Oh, Kafka. What happened? Who is that? <laughs> Who are you? Is that an eon, probably? Kind of a 
This is what I... Oh! Nice cane. Yeah, it's Mr. Yang. Okay now. Let's talk somewhere else. I like Mr. Yang. Got that eyes and look. The glasses and the hair. Is this the space station? You know, she's already more targeted talkative than the traveler ever was. Um. Yeah, that's the kind of display. I expected when they implanted the Stellaron into her. Hi. Hey, Dan. It's good that you've made it through in one piece. Yeah, I took a huge blast. You can rest easy now that the threat from the Legion has been neutralized. Good, good. Um. Even the Doomsday Beast is no match. Who am I? Where am I? Oh, again! <laughs> well. This is Herta Space Station. I guess I'll leave you to rest up a bit for the time being. By the way, um, what's your beacon address? That way, if anything happens, um, I can contact you. I don't think I have a beacon address. Oh, I do. You and Dan Hung exchange phone numbers. Go see Himiko when you have the time. She said she had something to discuss with you. Sure. I think that display probably gave her a better idea of as to exactly what we are. New message. Oh. Hi, this is Dan Hung. Remember to go find Himiko. Thank you. Can't respond. Too bad. Shadow of Destruction. Ooh, five stars. Material for raising Trailblazer. The Destruction's Edelon. Oh. Yeah. Finally, I have it. we have our first Eidolon. When enemies are defeated. I know, hold on. Uh, due to the Trailblazer's ultimate, Trailblazer regenerates 10 extra energy. Oh, cool. So you get a head start on your next, um, your next ultimate. This effect can only be triggered once per attack. Very nice. Messages. Share your experience and anecdotes with your companions by sending them messages. Click your companions' names to check their messages. <laughs> Serious punch. Is that a reference to One Punch Man? <laughs> uh, consecutive normal punches. Yes, that is absolutely a reference to One Punch Man. I love it. Uh, and coffee lover. A uh, cup of coffee thrice a day keeps the foggy head at bay. In a single battle, use Himiko's ultimate three times. Oh, I am a coffee lover. I drink like a pot a day. Wonderful. Where are these messages? A travel log. Oh, that's that thing. Okay. Um... Oh, we can add more uh, companions now. Um, let's go with Asta, because why not? Wait. Support character. I need to look more into what exactly this is for. Help other players, right? How exactly does that work? and unlocked the ability to receive help. I mean, obviously, that's a sort of co-op thing. Um, what about the Starfaring Companions, though? Oh, that's just to show characters we've unlocked. I see. So, I could put in, for example, Serval there if I wanted. I don't really have a lot of unlocked characters right now, so... Not much point in showing them off. Well, all right then. That's, uh, we've been at this for a while. That's probably a good place to stop after that, defeating that dragon. We'll, uh, we'll end it here for today.